everyone, welcome to Interview with the Catalyst. This is a show where we unpack the leadership and success principles of this amazing man, Mr. Larry Olushola. How you doing, sir? Excellent, man, Paul. So it's, uh, it's an honor to be here again. God save asking another question today. Wow. I, I should be saying it's an honor to be telling you because you are my mentor. No, no. You know, um, one thing a lot of people don't realize is that um, relationship is a need. Mm -hmm. And um, for you to have, you know, graciously, um, you know, allowed yourself uh, to be the vehicle that God used to birth this idea of the interview, um, it's, it's truly an honor to be sitting here with you being interviewed by you. Wow. Um, so, you know, thank you very much. Uh, brilliant, uh, brilliant, you brilliant. Know, I'm, I'm excited. Fantastic. Even though, you know, it seems like, you know, my, I'm not excitable, but deep down inside my mm. spirit, I'm excited. Fantastic. So what we're cooking today is the power of a network. Mm -hmm. I heard a quote a long time ago from a book called Love is a Killer App by Tim Sanders. The guy says that your network determines your net worth. I want you to comment on that. I said it earlier on that relationship is a need. Mm -hmm. There is absolutely nothing on earth that you can achieve by yourself. Mm. You need people and people need you. And that is the concept of your network. And the value of people and how they value you right within your network determines your network mm. so the most incredible valued network that is the people that can guarantee them people that can stand as shorty for them the people that are movers and shakers right um people of timber and caliber if you had them in your network and they are your friends and these people can put their heads out for you, that determines your net worth. Mm -hmm. Which means that you can go out there and be all that you were born to be. However, without a valuable network, that is, no one is ready to stand shorty for you. No one is ready to guarantee you. No one is ready to invest in you. No one believes in you. Mm -hmm. And you're on your own. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can only go that far. So, you know, the value of your network determines the value of your net worth mm. today and tomorrow. Wow. I told someone the other day, I said that, have you noticed that um, when a successful person, a rich man, is doing his child's birthday or is doing his, his, own, his, or, his or her birthday, you see a lot of cars lined up that are coming for this birthday party. But when a poor man or woman is doing something, not a lot of people come. And why is that? The reason is because successful people know more successful people. Yeah. And that's why they're successful. You know, they say that people like people like themselves. Mm -hmm. And show me your friends. Uh, so I'll tell you who you are. Mm. So you've just described it. The poor man attracts poor people. And the rich man attracts rich people. Successful people attract successful people. Wise people attract wise people. And so if you truly want to be wise, you have to be with the wise. You have to hang with the wise. You have to interact with the wise. And you will become wise. For if you hang with fools, then you will become a fool as well. Fantastic. Mr. Catalyst, why is relationship so critical? to a person's success in business or in their professional careers? You cannot do everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. So imagine, you know, this office now, we're providing phenomenal coaching and psychology services to clients. I walk into the gate, I open the gate in the morning by myself, I open all the doors by myself, I clean the office by myself, I settle in to my seat by myself, and I do all the work by myself. So never takes like I go downstairs by myself <laughs> to put on the generator by mm. myself. Clients, in fact, there's no client. Mm. No client comes in. And so you are by yourself. Imagine what kind of life you live. Boring. Be, it will be you will be living a dead life. Mm. So imagine having all the wealth in the world. 
And imagine being the only one that occupies Leki, Ikoi, and Vi. That is, you own all the houses, you own all the cars, there's no human being. All the restaurants, you own it. So you get into double four, you go and cook chicken and scallop by yourself, you serve it by yourself, you eat it by yourself. You go to the cinema, you put the movie by yourself, you sit down in that big cinema, you watch it by yourself. You know, there's, there comes a time where you'll be praying for God to take you. <laughs> because you cannot even enjoy anything yeah. by yourself. Yeah. So you find out that, you know, life and the value of life, you know, is most appreciated with people. And especially with the people that value you and the people that you value. So relationship is a critical need. And it goes far beyond, you know, just marrying. It goes far beyond just having children. You know, there's the value of you know, um, interaction within the workplace. Mm -hmm. There's a value of interaction within the business space. There's a value of interaction within the, you know, uh, marketplace where, you know, you are able to rob minds with one another, rob ideas with one another, meet each other's needs, add value to one another, solve each other's problems. That is where you find fulfillment and a sense of accomplishment. You know, the highest of all needs, according to the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, is transcendency. When you help other people achieve their dreams, now you can never meet that need if networking or relationships is not critical and important. Good, 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 good. Now, the scripture says that a man's giving makes room for him. Because how we've interpreted that scripture, it's a man's gifts. But I've looked at the original, it's a man's giving makes room for him. We live in a culture, in a, in a nation, where bribery and corruption is an issue. This has been an issue for a lot of entrepreneurs. Someone gives you a contract, and then you finish the, the contract, 20 million, 30 million, and then after the job, you go back there, and then you, just as a sign of appreciation, you buy the person a car, you buy the person a gift. When is it a bribe, and when is it as an appreciation, so that it opens more doors for you, because that's that's an issue for you. That's why people, people of faith, it's a bit, it's been an issue. Yeah, we live in a generation and in an environment where, you know, it is the order of the day, and um, it is very very important that we create a good balance. There's a difference between bribery and extortion. There's a difference between gratitude mm -hmm. and bribery. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, the important thing for you to do is this. You understand the environment is corrupt. And you understand that within this environment, right, you know, people don't do things for nothing. Anything that someone does is expecting something. So like we do, it is a policy within our organization to show gratitude. We will not wait for you to extort from us, but we will let you know that it is our policy to show gratitude. Now, a situation happened recently where, you know, after we had done work with a bank, uh, the, department, the training department, we went and we showed gratitude by, you know, um, the lead guy in that department. We gave him cash for, for everyone within that department. And, you know, one thing led to the other, and the head of that department heard. Now, when I say heard, is that the HR director heard that we had done that, and placed a demand that we, the guy refunds the money to us, and that they queried the guy. And we placed a call through to the HR director and said to the HR director, we don't understand what your policy is within the bank, but our policy is that we must show gratitude. If receiving cash is not your policy, then tell us what is within your policy. Mm -hmm. We have earmarked this amount of money. Mm -hmm. It is a percentage of how much the value of the contract is, and we must give it to you. It cannot come back to the company. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and, and the lady looked at us and said, sorry? Say so yes, that money is still coming back to you. So if you do not receive it in cash, please let us know. So they let us know some of the things, and guess what we did? We looked at their training academy, and we bought them a 52-inch LCD screen with 
um, DSTV decoder and subscription for the whole year for their canteen. Now, it was the equivalent of the money that were dedicated was for them. So it was their policy not to receive cash or not to encourage the receipt of cash. We made a mistake because we did not find out the exact policy, but our policies are such that we show gratitude. So we said, okay, you know what? Let the guy refund the money. You cannot punish him because we are culpable for it, right? And it was not to the guy, it was to the entire uh, team that we're showing gratitude. So, but we would take it, but we will still invest that money back into your organization and we did it. And the lady appreciated it, the guys appreciated it, and, you know, we're best of pals. So, you know, you need to understand the environment that you're in and you need to work within the dynamics of that environment. If you were abroad, right, and you did that, it's a crime. So you cannot do it, whether it's gratitude or it's not gratitude abroad, you cannot do it. So in an, in an environment here where it's, you know, it is the order of the day, you've got to understand it. Also, I, I'd like to extend this to the police force, right? I mean, those guys are doing phenomenal work. I mean, standing on that road and sometimes they don't get paid their salaries. How do you expect them to survive? And so you've got this guy with a gun. And there are different options. Now, if this guy points a gun at you and shoots you and takes all your, your stuff, there's nothing that will, will come out of it. Yeah. So why don't you go to that checkpoint? You know, honor and respect him. Good afternoon, sir. Well done. Have you had breakfast or lunch or dinner today? And he says, ah, oh, guy, you know, things are tough. Oh. And you know that that guy has children. He has a wife. He's going to send his children to school. And he's earning a... A measly 25000 and you know, man, that 25000 on transport alone, you know, cannot do. So that guy, you need to show gratitude to him. And on the road, you actually say to him, Oga, why don't you go and have lunch? What do you think that, thank you very much, you know, for serving us, sir. And you drive off. How do you think that guy will feel? He's going to feel great. And that's what we need to do. So don't put them in a position where they have to ask you, where... You know, they have to rob you. You know, because, look, they have needs. And, and you've got to position yourself, right, to meet those needs. And this is also part of how you build networks. Now, if you have a problem and you've taken care of the last man guys on the road, you've taken care of the police guys on the road, and you have a problem on a particular day, do you think that they will come to your rescue? They will come to your rescue. Will they extort money from you? They won't Will they money. place a demand on you? They won't place a demand. Wow. Mr. Catalyst, this is an, an amazing, amazing conversation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great place to call it a wrap for this episode of Interview with the Catalyst, where we've been talking about the power of a network and the power of relationships. Now you can get more tips on how to manage your, your network, grow your network, expand your network from Mr. Larry Olushola. How can you get in touch with you, sir? You can call us on 080-770-77000 or you can send me an email at catalyst at the catalystng.com or you can go to our website www.thecatalystng.com or www.olcang.com or you can follow me on Twitter at Larry Olushola, Facebook Larry Olushola, Instagram Larry Olushola. Fantastic. And you can also follow me on, on Twitter at Paul Fo. That is P A U L F O H. Until I come your way again next time with another great episode of Interview with the Catalyst, this is Paul Fo and Mr. Larry saying, Have an amazing day.